From the 1011 Now Streaming Studio, this is The Night Beat. Good evening, I'm Danielle Shank. Here's what's making headlines as we wrap up Friday, July 26th. A couple accused of killing four people and burning down their homes in Laurel in August 2022 is now being sued by the victim's families. Three people are suing Jason and Carrie Jones for wrongful death and survivorship damages. One of them claims to have suffered extreme emotional, psychological and financial damages from the murders. Jason Jones's trial was moved to Dakota County and is expected to start in September, while Carrie Jones awaits a judge's decision on whether her trial will be moved. A DHHS report reveals that staff at the Mulberry Nursing Home in Waverly failed to thoroughly check the condition of 74-year-old Constance Glantz, who was pronounced dead but later found alive. It also mentions her blood pressure wasn't checked and a second licensed nurse didn't examine her. Mulberry is now on probation, cannot accept new patients, and must follow a strict correctional plan by the department. The Nebraska Supreme Court is ruling that LB 574, better known as the Let Them Grow Act, does not violate the state constitution's single subject rule. The law combines a 12 week abortion restriction with a limit to gender affirming health care for minors, both deemed to fall under public health and welfare. The ruling follows a lawsuit by the American Civil Liberties Union representing Planned Parenthood. Day two of the special session was bumpier than yesterday, with State Senator Justin Wayne's motion to adjourn falling short. As legislators review Pillen's property tax proposal, a bipartisan plan is being floated to lower the levy cap for local school funding over a decade. The state would then cover the funding gap, requiring $444 million in additional revenue, potentially through removing sales tax exemptions, with savings passed on to property taxpayers. Lastly, any couple getting married knows pictures are important and sometimes the shots that capture the experience of the day are the best. Austin and Haley tied the knot on Saturday in Norfolk and while the bridal party was on a trolley, someone thought they saw a tornado. And instead of our first initial reaction being should we go take cover? It was, let's run out in the street and go take a photo of the bride and groom on a wedding day because we're from Nebraska, of course. Now it's unclear if it actually was a tornado because that building is blocking part of the view, but it's definitely a moment and photo they will never forget. Rounding out your night beat is a check of the seven day forecast. You've been listening to the night beat. Watch, listen, and stream on the 1011 app on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts.